What's up guys, this is the Power Up Mushroom, and I'm coming to you with a video for, well this is an unboxing, my first unboxing for Video Games Monthly, um, for those people who don't know what Video Game Monthly is, it is a subscription service where every month they send you video games that you do not have because you update your library as you pick up games. It's pretty good for collectors, I've seen some people, they, I've seen them enjoy it, I've seen people like, they're kind of eh about it. Um, I'm trying to collect games more like right now I'm doing a lot of video game hunting but it is kind of hard with the whole COVID and pandemic thing especially with Sony announcing that they closed they were closing the PS3 store but now they're not but it just it shot there's been a lot of things to cause retro games to just shoot up high in price so I decided to go with this just because I'm trying to build up and beef up my collection a little bit um, and in this collection box you can actually choose what games you want sent for like which systems and if you guys are wondering which subscription I got, because they have like different subscriptions, like where you can get like three, five, six, eight. I got the 10 game box, so there should be 10 games in here. And my library is up to date, kind of, because I did buy quite a few games like four or five days ago. So if I get some duplicates, it's okay. Like from, if it's from the ones that I bought, you know, recently, it's okay. So we will see. And let me just open this up packaging ah. All right. like I said I mean this this box that I got it's actually pretty hefty so there should be about 10 games in here look at that it's bulging out kind of sucks i wish i i could have gotten one that's not you know damaged because i do like the way these boxes look from what i've seen but yeah it's okay there's always next month uh and from what i've seen how people do this you actually open it and away from yourself and you just start pulling stuff out so that is what i will do just like that and y'all can't see anything neither can i it's or should i just have it like uh something fell something definitely fell so um i guess that'll be that'll be it well actually one thing fell out and we got two cards that fell out with it so we got uh win three games post your box on social media for a chance to win free games in your next box video game monthly all right and we got something that says congratulations you have received two free games thank you for being a video games monthly subscriber Hey, not bad for my first box. So it's called a two up. And I have seen these uh, where people, like, if they give you a two up, you get two extra games. So there should be 12 in this box. So this is pretty cool. I'm actually really excited for this. So let's go ahead and start. And the game that actually fell out, I'm glad I got one. Uh, it's a PSP game, Loco Roco, sealed. This is factory sealed, which is really cool. Um, Have not played or heard about it. Actually, it looks very, really similar to Patapon for the PSP. Um, just the art style and everything. You guys can see that right here. Uh, it's really cool. I want to beef up my PSP collection. That is in, uh, that is in the what I asked to receive. So I really like that. I probably will give this a try too. So Loco Roco. I'm just making sure nothing else fell, which it doesn't look like it. So we'll go ahead and let me. Do I reach around? Try not to knock it over. All right. Another PSP game. Wipeout. Pure. And, hey, I'm down for some Wipeout. You guys haven't played Wipeout? It's actually a really cool racing game. I do have the full collection on my PS4. Love the game series. Love it. But I'm actually happy that I do, like I said, beefing up my PSP collection. I'm actually really excited because I don't have this. And, is like I said, this is cool. First time experience, so far so good. And sealed, by the way. So, not bad. Not bad at all. So let's go ahead, we'll grab another one. And we got an Xbox 360 game. And, you know, I've actually seen people receive this one. And I was hoping, I was really hoping that I would get one. Uh, that is Big Bumpin'. And this is a Burger King uh, game for... Uh, this is an exclusive. This is like one of those Burger King exclusives. So I am not going to argue with this one either. Uh, 
That's cool. Sealed as well. This is not resealed either. Doesn't... Nope. This is actually a full sealed copy of Big Bumpin'. I'm down for that too. Xbox 360 was also in uh, what my the game list that I put in. So, so far, these three games that I've gotten all sealed, pretty cool. Um, not going to say, like, you know, for people who haven't signed up, I know it's not guaranteed that you're going to get sealed games all the time. But, so far, I'm really liking this box. You know, so, I'm excited. I will give this one a shot. So, big bumping on the 360. Let's see, uh, what else? Oh, I think this is an NES game. And it is. Rad Racer. I could also beef up uh, my my NES collection. There it is. Uh, label's a little damaged. That's not, it's not too bad. I can always buy replacement labels. And they're NES games. At this point, NES games are running a little over 30 years old. Yeah. They're going to be 40 years old. Now, in a few years, they will be 40. So, I, I don't expect these things to be in, like, great condition. But, as you can see, I guess it still has a used sticker from somewhere. I'm not sure where from. It'd be nice if I, if I could tell, but... Yeah, I mean, it looks in pretty decent condition. Um, I have to play this on my uh, on my actual Nintendo, see if it still works. I'm pretty sure it does. The actually inside seems pretty clean. There's not a lot of dust in there, so who knows? Rad Racer on the NES. All right. uh, I think this is another NES game, which is cool. Ice hockey. Not huge sports fans, but ice hockey, I'm cool with that too. Like the NES had did have a lot of like shovelware, but like I said, uh, it's the NES, 40 years old. Don't expect them to be in pristine condition. Uh, the inside looks fine too. The only thing is like the shell is a little bit dirty. Uh, I might have to clean that up a little bit. Just some preventative maintenance that you know you'll need. So ice hockey on the NES. Uh, this one's also an NES game. RC Pro AM. There we go. Another racing game on the NES. Not too bad. This one's actually pretty clean. And the label's actually really nice, too. This whole cartridge actually is in pretty pristine condition. You can see that. No scratches. I don't see any gunk on here. Label's clean. Inside, dust-free. Everything. Yeah. This whole thing is just... Perfect. So yeah, RC Pro AM. Uh, not sure if it's like RC Racing, if that's the same thing. I want to say that was on the NES too. Not sure, not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But I feel like I played a game similar to that a long time ago. Maybe if I go back and like look at my old videos, I know I was heavy like into NES collecting when I first started this channel a long time ago. Got another NES game. I'm down for this. Some Dr. Mario. Again, real pristine. It's clean, actually. This is a clean copy of Dr. Mario. Yeah. No dust. Just looks almost brand new. Wow. I'm down for that. Let's see. Oh, I think we got a Sega Genesis game. Bro, always down for some NBA Jam, and surprisingly, didn't have this in my collection. Uh, label's a little bit damaged on the top, but that's cool. No problem there. Like I said, don't expect these games, especially these older these older cartridge games, to uh, just be like, you know, pristine all the time. Um, but I don't have NBA Jam on the Genesis, so I am actually really happy to receive that. And it looked. Pins look pretty clean too, so NBA Jam on the Sega Genesis. We got another Sega Genesis game, and that's Sonic Spinball. This one is a little bit damaged, and I do not have this one, surprisingly, on the Genesis. I thought I did. I don't. I don't have Sega Genesis or Sonic Spinball on there, so we got Sonic Spinball on the Genesis. I will add that proudly to my collection. Uh, it's not too damaged, but there is like some sticker residue that I can wipe off. No problem. 
but still pretty decent pickup so so far we got uh one two three four five six seven eight nine so there should be three more games in here and it feels like we got a game boy game which is ooh game boy advance game star wars episode one or no episode two actually attack of the clones and you know funny thing about this game is actually i have played this game before um uh, my cousins, when we when we do like those road trips or like camping trips or whatever, my cousins were actually huge into Star Wars fans, and they would buy like these THQ, you know, movie knockoff games or whatever. Um, yeah, I do remember playing Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. Yeah, it's all right. It's, I believe, if I'm correct, it's either the top-down uh, Star Wars game or it's a side-scroller, you know, lightsaber game. So it's like you know a small hack and slash. So right there, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine that's ten games so we should have two more in the box and the next two are actually Game Boy Advance games and here's one Namco Museum don't have this one on the Game Boy uh, on the back it does have a little bit of residue sticker residue but hey I'm cool with that you know uh, I don't have Namco, Namco Museum on the Game Boy Advance. And actually, I was looking on Etsy. They actually do have like these uh, kind of cassette tape covers, cases that you could put for your Game Boy Advance. They're real small. They're like, pro they're actually the size of cassette tapes, but it looks real nice and real neat, you know, to put your, your Game Boy games in. I actually ordered some for some of my Game Boy Advance games. I'll probably order some for these, just so I could start collecting cases for these Game Boy Advance games that are loose. And... In my opinion, they actually look a lot nicer than, you know, regular Game Boy Advance game uh, boxes. I'll probably leave a link in the description below where I ordered them from, and I'll probably do a video on them, because I did order quite a few, just so I could show them on camera. So, there we go, Namco Museum, and we have one more. Well, actually, we got a button. I'm down with that. Nice little video game monthly logo. I will put that on the side, and I think that's it. Yep, there's all the games right there, and we got a game I've never heard before. Uh, it's by Atari, Stuntman, for the Game Boy Advance. Cool with that too, you know. Um, Stuntman, I have no clue what it's what it is. <laughs> we'll find out. I'll probably play it on my Game Boy Player, which. Has been seeing a lot of gameplay like time recently with me. I've been using my Game Boy Player on my GameCube a lot. But hey yeah, I'll give those a shot. So so far, man, like I'm happy with the box. I'm cool with it. I actually I was actually uh, I was hoping I could get like some PS3 games, but with how those have risen up lately in prices, I don't think it's happening. Uh, that PS3 games have just skyrocketed uh, with you know Vegas, eBay. Um, but I did buy some games before I saw them shoot up too high in price. Uh, one was Lollipop Chainsaw. That game's going for like $140. And I was able to get a Japanese copy, which I'm cool with it. I got a Japanese copy for like 20 bucks, but an American copy is running about like 130 120 on eBay, which is freaking ridiculous. I hope the price like goes down soon. But yeah, so far we got, we got three Game Boy games. Cool with that. Two Sega Genesis games. Uh, both popular, you know, NBA Jam and Sonic Spinball. Uh, Sonic Spinball, when I played in the past, uh, it was all right. I played at my cousin's house. She's the one that had it. Then we got some NES games, which I'm always happy to expand my NES collection. So I'm happy with that too. And like I said, I was really happy with these three right here. Loco Roco, Wipeout, which Wipeout, like I said, I played before. Great racing game. And Big Bumpin', which I've always wondered about these Burger King games. I've never looked into buying them but i've always just like if i come across them i come across them and i'll pick it up but hey i got one of them so i'm happy with that so far so good guys um i'm actually looking forward to the subscription i want to see how long i'll stay with them so far like i said i'm happy with it so i'm looking forward to more of these uh, unboxings and definitely this is going to be like a monthly thing so when i get the box you know, I'm going to do an unboxing with it, obviously. And I guess I did get lucky with getting the two up in the box. So I'm really happy with that, guys. But anyways, remember, guys, to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow on my Spotify for the talk show. Um, I will be uploading more episodes this week. 
Um, preferably today I'll be working on that. And as always, guys, when you guys are gaming, power up.